we also, you're also well represented by Representative Richard Lee, State Senator Stan Humphreys, obviously Congressman Ed Whitfield, and Commissioner of Agriculture Jamie Comer's with us here today. We appreciate them all. But look, you know, before I get started, I want to say how nice it is, how nice it is to see Jerry Lundigan back in the game. Like the loyal Democrat he is, he's taking orders from the Obama campaign on how to run his daughter's campaign. They told him to make a pitch on the internet for the women's vote, and he sent a check to Anthony Weiner. months, over the next 15 months, we're going to decide what kind of America we want to have, what kind of Kentucky we want to have. Only two answers to this question, Barack Obama's vision for America or Kentucky's. You know, I brought Kentucky's voice to Washington and the Obama crowd doesn't like it. See, Kentucky's voice is often the voice of opposition to the Obama agenda, and I'm proud of that. That's why every liberal in America, every liberal in America is out to beat us next year. You know, the liberals are worried because, just as I predicted, Obamacare is a disaster for America. step of the way, every step of the way on the government takeover. And we stand up to their war on coal. Look, as long as I'm in the Senate, Kentucky will have a voice instead of San Francisco and Martha's Vineyard.
it's really quite simple. Here's the choice. Obama's Nevada yes man or a Kentuckian to run the Senate. Thanks for all you're doing. It's going to be a great campaign. We're going to have a lot of fun. Theological Seminary in Washington, D.C. He did serve one term in the